everyone, Jake with my bring back, going through uh, some of the basics with WordPress again, and uh, what we're talking about today is uh, menus. We're talking about the menus, the navigation for your users, so they can get around your site efficiently. As we talked about in the previous two videos, from all the way from the default menu that's set up with your pages already on there, um, all the way to a custom menu that I talked about in the last video, how to modify, how to make custom URLs, again, for your users usability and uh, finding their way around your site. What I want to quickly brief on, and this is pretty much the last tutorial on menus I promise, but uh, is how to actually add the menus into the widget bar. Let's say you have something uh, a little bit out of the ordinary, but you want to put a custom menu on a page and uh, leave it on there so they, they can have the sidebar on the left as a navigational tool as well. That's what we're going to go over today. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to add a new menu by clicking the plus. We're going to uh, put in here a sidebar widget so we remember and can distinguish between the two. Go ahead and create it. After we've created it, we're going to have a few links. Again, we're going to go to google.com, add that to the menu. We're going to go to bing.com, add that to the menu. And then, you know, we're going to add maybe our blog onto the menu there. And let's say a greetings category, the, the category of greetings. And then let's go ahead and rearrange these a little bit as I showed, showed you. Put Bing, our blog on top, greetings as a subcategory of the blog. All right, we're going to save that custom menu, the sidebar widget. And then we're going to go over here again under the appearance, but go into the widgets category here. After you go into widgets, you see again we've got the available bucket of widgets to choose from. There should be one, depending on your theme again, that uh, is for a custom menu. And so we're going to take that custom menu that we have already placed in there. We're going to put that on top of everything. And then we're just going to give it a title, a search, or whatever you guys feel like out there. And this is where we actually select the menu in which uh, we've developed. And this is pulling from our custom menu. So you can see we've got the two title, or the two custom menus that we've created so far. The main, which is our main uh, main navigation, and then the sidebar widgets. So we're going to click that and then update that. All right, flip to the front side. Let's reload. And as it thinks here, and as it thinks, as it thinks, all right, there we go. So now we've got we've got our top navigational that we did in the previous video, and now we have our sidebar widget navigation filled with our our custom title here, and then we've got uh, the three parents followed by a sub menu below. So again, you can click these, and they'll take you exactly to the custom links that you guys specify. So hopefully that helps you guys. You guys are making new pages out there. And maybe your site is, is a conglomerate of different pages, but you got to navigate between each one. Hopefully that helps uh, with the usability of your site. So uh, anyway, if, uh, if you haven't subscribed already and dropped a comment or something of what you guys would like to see, go ahead and do that. And uh, we'll try to touch base on whatever you guys want uh, 